News time on KCIM with News Director Nathan Cones. Thank you very much, John, and good morning, everyone. A Sherdan woman was killed yesterday afternoon after crashing during a high-speed pursuit in Woodbury County. According to the Iowa State Patrol, 40-year-old Melissa Thede of Sherdan refused to yield to law enforcement when they attempted to conduct a routine traffic stop at approximately 4.30 p.m. on a 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser for speeding within the Sioux City limits. Authorities terminated the pursuit due to the high rate of speed as well as the erratic manner in which Thede was driving. Police say she continued to flee until she collided with the rear end of a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 operated by 29-year-old Hector Alvarez Calazo of Sioux City. The Thede vehicle then rolled and collided with a 2018 Ford Edge driven by 36-year-old Tracy Tracy Kellen of Sioux City. Thede was transported to Mercy One Hospital by Sioux City Fire and EMS but died due to the injuries sustained in the crash. Calazo sustained minor injuries. Kellen was unhurt in the crash. The Carroll City Council approved a bid during Monday's meeting for a more than half-million-dollar project for replacements in the city's water system. Public Works Director Randy Crawl says only two contractors submitted bids for that project, which were opened by city staff on January 16th. Two proposals were received. King Construction is the apparent low bidder on the project, and with their bid of $374,000 for Group A, which is the pump and motor, and $74,000 for Group B, which is the repainting of the piping, the current project estimated cost is just over $507,000. The other bid received was from Woodruff Construction for a combined $531,000, which would have brought the total project cost to more than $590,000 if the council were to select that bid. Crawl rec- recommended the council select the low bid from King Construction and explains the proposed construction timeline as well as funding sources. project is planned to be funded through the Water Utility Fund Reserves, and the schedule includes completion of the painting by December 31st of this year, completion of the pump and motor installation by June 1st of 2025. Crawl adds that the low bid did come in under the design firm's initial estimate of $523,920. The council voted unanimously to approve the King Construction proposal. The pump station in question does serve as the primary source of water pressure within the city system, and officials say the replacement is necessary to ensure adequate pressures are maintained throughout the mains. A Greene County man won uh, $100,000 rather earlier this week after claiming the top prize in one of the Iowa Lottery's mini scratch games. Kelly Beeman of Grand Junction purchased his winning bonus multiplier scratch game from the Casey's in Boone and claimed his prize on Monday from the lottery headquarters in Clive. Bonus multiplier is a $10 scratch game that features eight top prizes of hundred grand. 33 prizes of $5,000, as well as overall odds of 1 in 3.12 uh, in terms of winning. For a complete list of rules, regulations, as well as available games from the Iowa Lottery, log on to ialottery.com. And Dupaco Community Credit Union has been named one of the best places to work by Employ Humanity, a leadership development and culture design company. The member-owned financial cooperative secured its place among the top 20 employers acknowledged nationwide by Employ Humanity. The designation is awarded to organizations showcasing commitment to the well-being of their employees, industry, and communities. Employee Humanity emphasizes servant leadership, workplace culture, and positive contributions to society in its selection criteria. President and CEO of Dupaco, Joe Hearn, says as a member-owned cooperative, Dupaco's mission is to help members build a life worth loving. We have a team of passionate, engaged employees who, with heart and smart, take their role of serving members and one another seriously. Their connection with our members and the communities we serve helps us achieve our vision of a brighter community for all. This marks Dupaco's third consecutive year of recognition from Employee Humanity, having been named the best place to work in 2023 and receiving the Excellence Award in 2022. Dupaco currently employs nearly 700 individuals and serves members across Iowa, Northwest Illinois, and Southwest Wisconsin, and of course has a branch right here in Carroll. But that is going to be wrapping up your KCIM 7 o'clock news. I'm Nathan Cohns reporting. All right, thanks, Nathan, for the news update. Thanks for updating that for us. Again, uh, up, everything is available on the mobile app and on the website, free of charge, anytime you want it. You want to go to the website? Go to 1380kcim.com. You want it on your phone to have instant access to everything on our website. Brinks Exteriors Radar, uh, sports, we've got news, we've got uh, national news, everything, podcasting, streaming, 
You name it, tap the app for all of it. It's free. Download it now at uh, KCIM in your app store.